Hey guys, welcome back to the Sense Pop channel. For today's deck profile, we will be featuring the best villain in the Dragon Ball Super series. Of course, we are talking about the immortal god himself, Zamasu. I am really excited to bring you this one guys because personally Zamasu is my favorite leader in the whole entire game and nostalgically it, uh, it is also my first leader that I brought for my first 20 and which I got trashed really horribly but the main point is I really had fun and I fell in love with the game. With the recent release of the Anniversary Box, we have three cards that kind of help with the Zamasu Archetype. One Goku Black, one uh, Extra Card, and one Zamasu Card that's supposed to bring out the big guy. So how well did they work? Spoilers, really well. So without further ado, let's see each other after the short intro, alright? Hey guys, welcome back from the video intro. So we are gonna go straight into the deck profile. Hopefully I would cut this thing short and uh, go just straight into the, 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 the cards itself. All right, so we are talking about the Fuse Zamasu leader. So if you don't know what he does, is that um, he is a very, very interesting leader. One of the kind, one of a kind in the whole entire game. We are talking about seven sets and several expansions so far, but there is none like him because he is Zamasu. Yep. All right, so Zamasu, once per turn, you get to choose one card in your life and you place it in your drop area. If the card placed in the drop area with this skill it was blue, you get to draw one card. Um, as this is a set to leader, they felt that this is balanced, but right now you know that this is not exactly balanced. This is actually extremely, extremely underpowered. Yep. When your life is two or less, you may draw two. He's a draw two leader. Flip over. Yes, you hear it correctly. It's two or less, not four or less. The reason why it's because on his uh, uh, awakened side. Absolute God. Feel Samasu. Permanent. The damage inflicted in your life um, is it's onto your deck itself so if your opponents deal one damage you get to mill five from your deck instead of taking your life and then um in so double strike to uh 10 cards triple strike 15 cards you get my point all right so when this card attacks you get to draw one card that's all so he is supposed to go for the long game and he has the equipment to deal with the long game himself all right so let's take a look at the deck right um because due to his ability on the front side we try to keep this deck uh, pure blue however there is no reason why to uh, use his ability unless you want your on fifth life and then you want to get your super combos online so you can just uh, drop one card just to uh, get your super combos online. As you can see, most of the deck is fully, fully uh, blue. So you, the chances of you drawing that one card is pretty high. But if you don't draw that one card, it's fine because your super combo is at least online. Okay, so I would say that would be the only time that you use. In the past, before the set five cards came out, usually the people use the ability when they are at two life, they use his ability, choose one life, drop, put it in a drop area, then you get to draw one card before flipping over. So you draw one, flip on one, then you awaken on one life. That was always the way to play this leader until recently. And I can tell you um, why that you want to awaken at two lives instead of one life right uh with the reason meta and not um now all right so let's take a look at the cards himself so we play four copies of uh objection dimension four copies of dimension magic and of course four copies of sensu bean very very important for this deck and uh we play four copies of uh vegeto this is very important i can explain why if your leader is blue and this card is in rest mode it gains barrier and your opponent card cannot attack your leader card he is very vulnerable this leader it's like a fragile flower himself yeah so instead of defending at 15 you defend at 20 with barrier so your opponent can pop him and with sensu bean it props him up to 25 to sensu bean 30k for the duration of the turn just much easier time uh, defending him than defending your leader right especially when your opponent goes double strike triple strike it's very painful with this leader however if your opponent goes triple strike for 35k with him he dies so what so what yep 
Alright, and then uh, you said 4 energy and 5 energy. If you draw a card, that's a lot. It's a lot, but with this leader, you're gonna get the energy anyways, right? So, um... And uh, Undying Link Samasu, one of the best cards in the game. And we play four copies of Joyful Strike Goku Black Rose. I will tell you the why this two cards is so important in this game. Because this two cards has one ability. The ability is this. When you play this card, if your leader card is Samasu or Goku Black, if you have five or more energy, if you have six energy for Goku Black, you can untap all your energy. You can inflict two damage into to yourself. So with Samasu here, is you take two cards from your life with zamasu here it's 10 cards uh that you meal so after milling 10 cards you could play them for free or take two damage that means you have a free 20k indestructible that cannot be removed unless he gets a uh, minus to zero or you have joyful strike which is a 25k double strike for free that's a lot of uh things to deal with all right and in this deck it does a second function the second function is this that with this new anniversary box card this is such a godsend card pun intended um indestructible if your blue feels samasu your few your blue uh zamasu leader can activate its awakened skill even if you have three or more lives that means when you play him you are able to awaken yourself uh, let me take some water <coughs> mm. ah. that means you can awaken him um early if you want to but i'm not sure why do you want to but you can do it if you want um but the powerful part is the two, two blue energy. You get to place this card in your owner's drop area. If you do so, if you have 15 or less card in your deck, choose up to one infinite force Zamasu in your hands and play it. So this is the big boss uh, Zamasu, which we are going to talk about right now. That means for four energy, you have 15 cards less in your deck. You could do it. How do you get to that 15 or more cards? First, because of him, you can awaken. And second thing is, with this guys, you can mill 10. So once you pop one of this guy out, you definitely mill 10. And most of the time you will fulfill his 15 cards criteria. Then tap two, this card, this card comes out. Take note that this guy himself is indestructible. So unless you're playing against red, which they can neck you for minus 10, um, you could swing with him. So 15k swing. 20k swing or 25k swing then tap two then bring out this guy 30k the big boss this guy comes out the game ends i tell you why because uh we just skip the union potara because that's not valid right now if you bring him out so union potara used to be that for seven cores you got to bring this guy out which is really really a lot in, in even in the old metas especially when the meta accelerate from from uh three four five and uh six right so right now also when this card attacks he is indestructible 30k indestructible unless you're playing against baby baby can finish him with two revenge death ball but uh it is too difficult when this card attacks choose up to one card each from your opponent's battle card battle area battle cards only you cannot choose field cards uh, energy life hand and place them in the bottom of their deck in any order so you don't even help them to use their overrealm. So you just take any cards. So take one of their open energy. Take one of their life. So if the, you are playing against Zamasu. You don't inflict 5 damage to him. No. You take that life away from his uh, card. Away from the life area. So you don't inflict damage. You take a card. So you pick a card. Pick a card. Uh, pick a card from life. Pick a card from your opponent's energy area. Pick one that is open, yeah, that is in active mode. Take one, take one of his battle card, take one card at random from his hands, and then put it at the bottom of their deck. Really, really good. And then after that, they have to deal with this 30k uh, guy. So that means that two damage is almost guaranteed. One damage is guaranteed whether it gets negated. If it doesn't get negated, he still have to either waste cards in his hands or uh, do take this uh, 30k damage right there. So maybe playing... Um, 
Champa might be a good thing to make him like 40k double strike, but I'm not too sure. So far, grinding this game out really works for me. Yep. So let's talk about another uh, card itself that comes out from the anniversary box. This guy, it's okay, but it's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good, but it is the least productive card in the whole, uh, in, in whatever I have right here. All right. So permanent, when you have five or more energy, you can play this card from your hands without paying its energy cost. If you play this card, if your leader is Goku Black or Zamasu, you get to draw one card and you can play it for the duration of the turn. So that means if you have him, you play him, you get to draw one card. So he's a free 10k on the board. All right, so he is good. I would think that with the new uh, with the new cards that are coming out with the mass replication, when you play a Goku Black, you get to play one uh, play one Shadow Token. But that is not the case now. I play him because he is Goku Black. He's part of the Archetype, and then he also gets the extra. Uh, you get to put a 10k on the board, and you get to draw one card. It helps you to draw the cards that you need. All right, but one of the MVPs of the deck himself is this card plan for destruction in the past right when you are playing zamasu without the anniversary box cards you always depend on objection if you don't get to draw objection um, you're almost guaranteed a loss but right now with this plan of destruction yesterday i was playing okay let's talk about what the card does okay if your leader card it's a goku black or zamasu which we are it gets 10k for the duration of the battle, and if there's a total of 7 or more energy between you and your opponent, place this card in the drop area in your place this card from the drop area in your energy in rest mode. That means this is you tap one blue, get a 10k, then you put it into your, the drop area, then you put it into your energy area. So Yesterday, I was playing against an opponent and I did not draw my objection, right? So, but at turn three, I had three energies open because I couldn't play anything because there was no objection. My opponent goes first, so he has four energy. He swings at me, tap one, plan of destruction. Now I am at four energy. Then he swings again. I had another plan of destruction in my hand, plan of destruction. Now I have five energy. Then I take one or two damage, add two cards in my hands. Then after that, I have six energy. Because he passed the turn to me, then I slap down my six energy. And this is turn four for me. This card, it's insanely, insanely good. Yep. So four copies of them, no discussion. All right. So let's talk about uh, some of the side. Okay. Why this guy? Yep. This guy, it's kind of good right now, yeah, because it makes the Goku Black more useful. Let me explain myself. So, the Almighty Bean Zamasu. So, Goku Black and Zamasu. So, for just two energy, this guy comes out. He has no indestructible. He is the, without the yellow Zamasu. This is the other, before the set seven comes out, this is the only Zamasu without the tag indestructible, all right? Because he is rather good, I would. If he has the if he has indestructible, this card it's really very good, right? But he doesn't have it, so that's that. But he can be cheated out with two energy. So when you play this card, if your leader card is Zamasu, which we are, uh, choose up to one of your opponent's battle card and place it at the bottom of their deck. Card card stack under under the cards are placed in the drop area. So. What does this do? So for example, right, you, you, your opponent has a thread on board that does not have barrier. So what you can do is you swing with him and you have, because this guy, I only play with five energy because you need five energy for his effect to, to go through. This guy needs five energy for you to draw a card. And this guy, it's basically uh, free when you have five energy, right? So you can have him, you swing with him, you have him on the board, you get to draw one card, tap two, evolve uh, on top of this two, then you have a 20k on the board and then you just drop, uh, take one of your opponent's battle card and then just uh, uh, remove him from the game as in like put it under his deck. Just like that. It, yeah, two energy. This is free, this is free anyway. So you get to uh, do that. Yep, so I play two off, which I think it's pretty much needed. All right, time ring. 
um, just to search out for your Zamasu or Goku Black if you need it, if you just get really really bad draw. This is the best, uh, one of the best combos in the game. You draw two, pick one, put it into your drop area. Crisis Crusher, the weakness of the deck, if I have to say, the weakness of the deck is the um, is those that helps you to untap energy. These are not free, technically, because you need to tap your six energy. And six energy for him, four energy for him, then you, if you choose to inflict, you get to uh, switch them to active mode. So if someone plays things like Boros or Wiz, it really hampers the deck being played. So that is why I play Crisis Crusher or the Infinite Field Zamasu, hopefully to take care of all those threats, all right? So let's take a look at the sideboard. Sideboards are cards which I am considering to put it into the game. So this is not the traditional sideboard. So let's talk about Spirit Sword. Spirit Sword is for me to take care of the the Wiz and Boros, of course. For some reason, for blue, you bounce things back into their hands instead of uh, KOing them. I would prefer KOing them because uh, bouncing back into their hands, they can play it. But uh, that's that. that. That's something that we have to make do with. All right. And uh, King Vegeta surprise attack. I know this has been nerfed, but the 30k revenge, the the 10k revenge is pretty good in this deck. So maybe I am thinking to take out three cards. Maybe three of this to play uh, King Vegeta surprise attack since we have infinite uh, infinity uh, vinyl cell anyway so this and this can be the green energy and um, I will tell you how I play this or maybe one copy more of a crisis crusher I'm trying to find it to fit into the deck itself right time ring maybe I'll be taking out but I really need to think because Time Ring, there are times where I don't find my Goku Black or Zamasu. However, because it's one copy, I don't find my Time Ring either. So one copy might be counterintuitive, but let's see. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Okay, so how to play this deck. So from from turn one to turn, uh, from turn one, right? So turn one, slap down a blue energy. If your opponent is going aggro, that's good because he, uh, it's okay. So let your opponent come at you. Be careful of uh, critical attacks. That's where your infin uh, infernal vinyl cell comes in. That's why you can tap one uh, and draw the card. So you don't take the aggro attacks, the critical attacks. But whatever attack comes in, I'll take it. Yep. Turn two, hopefully you have an objection. So two energy objection. Turn two, you have three energy. All right. So your opponent goes for his turn. He has two energy. That's fine. So he does whatever. What you want to do in... So let him do whatever, all right? And then during your turn again, you slap down your fourth energy. So turn three, you slap down your fourth energy. This is the turn where I usually just pass turn. If you have Crisis Crusher, play it. If you need to pop something on your opponent's board, do it. So take care of the Wiz and Boros on the board. Other than that, it's totally fine. It's totally fine. All right. So uh, let your opponent swing at you. At that point of time, your opponent would have three energy and you have four energy. That's when your plan for destruction is online. And uh, so let your opponent swing at you and then you can plan for destruction to go down into your fifth energy or sixth energy if you need it. But if you don't have it, it's totally fine. Defend yourself because what you want to do is when you slap down your fifth or more energy um, on, your, on this turn, you want to have uh, four life. That's what you want to do. So this is your turn one to turn three plan is to keep yourself at four life and your hand size up. All right. So I know sometimes it's not optimum, but this deck, it's th this is how I will play it. So keep yourself at four life because what happens at four life is when you slap down your fifth energy or sixth energy, if you have planned up for destruction, what I do is I play one copy of Undying Link Zamasu so take two from your life. So now you're at two lives. Flip him over, draw two. So you have a plus four. Then you play uh, Intimidator Vegito with five energy. If with four energy, then you get to draw one life. So you have Vegito on uh, on the field. You have Undying Link Zamasu on the field, and then you have Goku Black Countdown to uh, Destruction on the field. So draw one, 
So play him if you have it. So draw one, draw one, draw two, plus two, and then draw two. And if you swing with your leader, plus another one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cards, just add it into your hand, just like that, in one turn. All right, so this is when you have five energy. This is minimum five energy, yep. Usually I have more than that at this turn because of plan for destruction or objection. I would only objection one time and that's turn two or turn three. Other than that, I don't objection anymore. This goes as a good energy, all right? So that's when. So when you have him on the board, your opponent has to take care of him before he comes to you. You still have one energy open and you awaken at two life. Why do you awaken at two life? Because of dimension magic. Dimension magic, you get to uh, choose up to one of, so if your leader is blue, negate the attack, choose up to two of your blue energy and switch it to active mode. Um, you can uh, activate for sparking five, you can activate this skills counter by adding a card from your life to your hand instead of paying for the energy cost. So you can take one life, so you have two, take one, untap two energy with dimension magic. So you untap two energy, now you have three energy with sensu bean going up to 25 or 30 for your opponents to come. It is extremely difficult to come at him at this point of the game. You have infinite uh, Vinony cell and then you have uh, elegant assistant Hellas usually on the board because you already drew seven cards then uh, that's pretty good, right? So you can defend him. If not, let him die, but make sure that you take care of the double striker, triple striker, make him pay for taking out this guy, all right? So that's when he dies. That's totally fine. So turn six, let's say he did die or he dies, it doesn't matter. Turn six, you slap down your six energy. If you have planned for destruction, your seven energy or your eight energy, right? That's not uncommon. So what you do, um, you can swing with him, then you still have him on the board. Um, you can swing with him, then if you have Joyful Strike, put down Joyful Strike, mill the 10 cards, so you swing with a Joyful Strike, swing with him, put him down, swing with him, tap 2, uh, combine him, bring him, bring him down, so you could pop one of your, pop one of your opponent's battle card, then swing with him again, then after that, tap 2, Use him, bring this guy out, then swing. So you have one swing, two, uh, one swing, two swing if you want to do it, three. So double strike, single strike, single strike. Then you have swing with one strike, one, one more strike. Then you have him. Then uh, this is a guaranteed damage, destroy energy and everything. Then you swing with him. Then you get to draw one card. Usually that's when the game ends because you are just swing too much. And if you have enough. You could play one more of him or one more of him just to mute that 20 from your deck anyways. Yep, so I have done this before. You should see my board yesterday. It was really, really, really very, very nice. And I really enjoy myself. All right, so that is all for the deck profile today. So the reason, uh, maybe one more thing. The reason why I want to play King Vegeta Surprise Attack because just for one energy, you can slap it on top of him i know the first the first one because it's an auto revenge it's an auto keyword right now which is i don't know why is it in red um auto keyword right now so the first game you don't have the revenge but after that it has revenge and it still have 10k so it is a 30k with one set to be 35k revenge on the board so for example if that swing the final swing does not finish your opponent you could imagine he is still on the board. You could swing with him. Then your opponents still have to take care of him. Yeah. Then you could King Vegeta surprise attack. So in, before your opponent even hit your leader, your opponent has to take care of him. If he, So he is a 30k minimum with revenge. So anything that hits him will die. Of course, like I said, the first one doesn't work. But the second one will work with the revenge. But the first one gets the 30k for the duration of the turn. Yep, so it is a 30k for the duration of the turn. So you don't waste card, make your opponent waste card just to take care of him. And after that, with this whole thing going on, if your opponent doesn't, if you don't kill your opponent, your opponent doesn't kill you, you get to swing with this guy again. And this guy is when this card attacks. 
all right so that is the deck profile if you want to get in touch with me you could write a comment in the comment section or uh follow me on instagram and uh send me a message message from there all right so if not see you i hope you will enjoy the deck as much as i do if not guys see you guys in the next video all right ciao bye